You ever watch Mummies Alive? Never heard of it. It was a cartoon. Cool. Like, it, the whole gimmick was... Um, a kid discovers, like, a, a, a group of mummies discover the, the reincarnation of their pharaoh mm -hmm. in its modern times. <laughs> and they try to... And they just try. They just try to like uh, protect the kid. That's the reincarnation of their pharaoh. This is a cartoon. Yeah, the the mummies are the good guys. I don't think I've seen this one actually. They are the mummies. Da, 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 da. They are the mummies from the Eastern Bay. They are the mummies. The... No, I don't remember the theme song, but I think I do remember the actual show. Now, now that you actually like described it, I'm like, wait, that sounds familiar about, a, I think it was either a Nickelodeon show or a Disney show. Yeah, I, don't, I, think, I don't know it was on Cartoon Network. It was a, I know it was a, I know it was a uh, show made by Dick. Oh, that's, I don't know, nope, I've never seen that before. I've never seen that before. Like, but the animation gets really good in some parts. I was thinking about something totally different. Yeah. Alright, so I do not know where I'm at. I'm almost dead with... Where am the fuck am I? It's been two weeks. Let's hope you remember. Oh, I already know how to actually play this game. I just don't know where the fuck I'm at. Wait, now I do. Okay, never mind. I know where I'm at now. Yeah, we just got done getting uh, jumped by a few guys, killed them all, and now we're just trying mm -hmm. to figure out where the fuck we are at, actually. All right, here's the bridge. That's our way out of here. I can't wait to see that giraffe that we see in, hey, the, in the game. Slow down. Wait for me. Right. right here. How about you? Let me go first. That's actually my cover picture uh, as my profile on uh, PlayStation. Really? Yeah. The giraffe? Yes. Because it's a beautiful, like, thing. How <clears throat> many do I have? I have three. Okay. I can, I can. Do you know, like, uh, when they were trying to promote the game on e uh, for E3, like, they actually <laughs> brought a giraffe to E3? <laughs> that sounds pretty cool, actually. Yeah, it does. It actually does. It's a, it's a beautiful scene. It just, it just kind of just like invokes just what the game is. It's just two people just trying to survive this batshit crazy world. And then Giraffe. Oh, hell yeah. This is another uh, comic. Where you at? LA. Do you actually see what the comics look like? Yeah, you can, but I missed my opportunity to. I, I could look for it, but I'm like, I don't really want to. Where the fuck you go? There you are. What happened here? Are we still in Texas? No. And no, my money. I don't think we're in Texas in the first place. Why would they mow down all these? Is that Fort Worth? Nope. That's something else. They killed them. They can't be a W because there's there's a line going diagonal down. Sacrifice the few to save the many. Hmm. Shitty. Can't be Fort Smith because that don't make any sense. I don't know what this will be. Okay, so it's... Ah! That's shitty. I thought... It sort of looks like Texas, still. So. What was that? Sorry, oh, it's the Pittsburgh military zone. I gotta get down. So yeah, it's not Texas. I don't know how to go. Oh, there we go. Found it. Because we, we transitioned from, like, Texas to Pittsburgh pretty quickly.
Good thing with the bee is the thing. Okay, so in chapter one, they went to, it was Austin, Texas, chapter two and three, or um, Boston, Massachusetts. Uh, chapter four is Massachusetts, five and six is Pennsylvania, seven, twelve are in Wyoming. Then we get to Colorado, uh, and then we go to Utah. Okay, that's how you run. I'm stupid as fuck. I keep, I keep reading out a run. A run is like such a universal thing. <laughs> they go like, they usually just like go from the Midwest to the North. Yeah. That's where the fireplaces are. Mm. Right, so. I think I'm just gonna go up here. That, that's where they came from. Hey, you can climb the bus right here. Yeah, I think it'll be easier for them to. Yep. Like I would, I would have liked it if they like went to the more southern states. Besides, uh, like, uh, like stayed there longer. Okay. Then again, I'm, I'm, Ready? I'm no, asking for too much, or, or asking for a different type of game. The range really just want to get to stay in the there. actual south. They, 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 it's like a like a it's mission. A yeah, as long as a mission, and then they, they just leave. And like, okay. They usually go in the northern or midwest. As long as there's nothing really here. In the south? No, there's nothing really here. Give us our rations. Especially nothing here in Arkansas for our game. Oh yeah. Why wouldn't they give them their food? Sometimes they ran out. Cause like. Most times it is held the only thing we got that's culturally that's historical moment that people remember are the Arkansas Little Rock Nine. Yeah, that's about it. Yeah. Like someone could say, like, "Oh man, Arkansas is known for this, like the diamond mines and that's, our that's, rice." That's really if you if you're a history buff, that's the only reason that you actually know about any of this, though. Like the diamond, like the diamond mines, and uh, what was the other thing? The rice is like stretching. Like the, the diamond mines, yes, yeah, just because it was during that during that time where it was, it was a weird time back then. Yeah, but the diamond mines now are just a tourist trap. Yeah, because you can try to dig for diamonds for a fee. You know, some people still do actually find diamonds. Yeah. Just, very rare. It's very rare. Yeah, very rare. Because that thing's been like tapped out immediately. That's what we're supposed to go. Yeah, there's. Oh, there are people here. Holy shit. I totally didn't realize that. Yeah, because like, um. I was just about to walk around here like a dumbass. Now I'm gonna, act, I'm gonna actually look up what Arkansas is known for. Yeah, cause like, I guess, I guess Hot Springs, like, um, is a really famous city that people go to. Mm. That's because it was a gambling town. Yes.
Uh, diamonds. Well. What? Oh, because you got spotted? Yeah, he saw me. I just wasted a brick. The thing is, he didn't come after me. He just saw me. Oh, yeah. Ran away. Johnny Cash was born here. Hey, what was that? What was that? Uh, Walmart. Even then, that's a really big stretch. Yeah. Just like... What? Pine Bluff was as was known as the world center of archery bow production. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't put it past them. It's just that uh, this place is still kind of shit. It's still bumfuck nowhere. <laughs> oh, hello, hello. I'm looking at the top 50 uh, states facts, and one of them was about U USA, uh, UCA. <laughs> USA. <laughs> Both are technically correct. <laughs> like the the thirty uh, the the thirtieth fact was the University of Central Arkansas was founded in Conway in 1907. So the honeybee's the official. Oh, fuck. I didn't see it. Oh, thank you, Ellie. So the honeybee is the official state insect. Nice. Alright, so. I do know, like, the state animal is the white tailed deer. Okay, so the fiddle, the fiddle is the state instrument. Makes sense. And oh. our state, um, oh, I know, I know diamonds are jewel or mineral. Is that right? Diamond is a jewel. Yeah, our state jewel. Can you not see me? I'm going over this way. You guys. You think he would see you, but <laughs> he does. That's so stupid. Because, like, even if he didn't see, <laughs> oh come on, how you stop me? The fuck, sir. Because he had a moment to react, and no, 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 no. I'm surprised there's not even that the many uh, guys after you after that. That damn good. Can you grab guns from alive guys? Yeah, but they're saving guns. Alright, so I, ha I have to heal. Because I understand if about that, I will die if I get crap again. Excited for Deadpool 2, but like, I'm probably not gonna go see it in theaters anytime this week or next week. 
I might see you sometime this week, maybe. It all depends on, like... Actually, most of the defi- deciding factors when it comes to seeing things in theater is either is like uh, spoilers or if you're going to see it in theaters. Like, because I like watching uh, movies with you in theaters because, like, you have the best reactions to stuff. Oh, thank you. I just, I just know what I like and what I don't like. There's a lot of movies that, that are out that I could be watching, but they just don't they just don't look right to me. Yeah. They just feel they just feel like they're just cash grabs just to get people in the theaters. I'm like, I don't want to do that. Yeah, because uh, after a couple of years, like um, I start to realize not every film's not gonna be for me. Like, uh, like in, in my demo. Uh, in the demographic or or like uh, in the taste department yeah because I'm not gonna like because as much as I want to like Bridesmaids I'm not gonna like Bridesmaids like I know that other people like Bridesmaids but I I can see where it's I see where the humor is in it or where it's where I can see how some people might find it funny but it just falls flat on my it falls flat on its ass in my eyes Mm mhm but I can see the joke landing on someone else. Yeah. Because like I think the the character that seemed to be the least funny in like was uh, like sadly was Melissa McCarthy because she didn't have that many good moments to me. Makes sense. Because I just felt like what is this what's this point that what's the point of this character? Like when I was watching this, was watching the movie, and then Ellie, why, why, why have you gone up there? But I could see that she has some talent as yeah. an act, as an actress. It's just like her humor is not my type of humor. Sometimes, yeah, I understand that. Ah, oh, fuck. Because like you know, you know me, and sometimes when it comes to humor, it's uh, it's either really dry or really stupid. Yeah. And there's there's very little in between. <laughs> dry and stupid. Oh god! Why? Why? Get up! I really don't want to be shooting right now because that gives me a position. You're gonna pay for that! Well, you're already caught. <laughs> and to some extent. Shots for trees. Like, do you have a silencer? Hell no. Because right now you're in a good spot. Why do you have the flashlight on? Because I can't see. But they'll see you. That's probably fine. Oh, Destiny, you were so good to me. What? Destiny. Oh, yeah. Excuse me. Because Destiny has taught me how to how to get headshots off like no one's business. Oh, uh, I thought you were talking about Destiny as the concept, not no. the game. The game, yeah. Good. I wouldn't have been able to get any of these headshots off if I didn't play Destiny for as long as I did. Mm-hmm. I think one one thing I noticed about let's playing is like I make a lot more sh- mistakes in let's play. Because yeah, originally you're not focused on the actual game, you're focused on just like trying to get make commentary. Yeah, that's why usually I just kind of stay quiet when when things get really hectic. I'm like I can't. Mm. Well, yeah, I think that's how you won like the last Dark Souls boss. You barely talked. True. Or, like we we talked about two things and then you and then you beat that boss. Yep. Yeah. And I left her and I said, like, yeah, let me just die real quick. We can, we can end that one real quick. Mm. I don't know if that's actually t- spoilers or just uh, or just mild. Uh, uh, depending on which which uh, video goes up first. Because, like, like, it's not really a spoiler that we say we beat a boss. 
It was just like... Oh, this is my second boss I actually beat on camera, though, which I'm actually really excited about. Yeah, so... I'm getting better at this stupid-ass game that right, everybody Dark... seems to love. Oh, yeah, Dark Souls... It has major flaws with it. Or, or at least flaws that hinder the likability of it. Yeah. Right. I love the aesthetic of it. And I love the feeling when you're actually successful in the game. What the hell's the here? Let me see. I think I am. Oh, yeah, so I was at the hospital recently. Not because I was sick or anything. I was visiting, visiting someone. And I was noticing, like, uh, we were when the when the person that we had to um, our relative that we had to move to the sec um, second floor or third floor because to to put in a bigger room for could just in case other members of the family come in like the windows view was just like like the skyline and nothing but the roof of the of the build of the part of the building next to us weird so like you saw like in like a good stretch of like uh, roof that you can't get on. There's so many things I can make. What? There's so many things I can make right now. I can make one of these. Well, I'll do one of these. Because like hospitals are are not built. They're just built to be efficient, not to, uh, or at least the concept, right? Like, they're not built to be efficient, they're built to be... So they're built to be efficient, but they're not built to be aesthetically pleasing. Yeah, because they, they serve a function, so they shouldn't look like, oh my gosh, I, I want to go to the hospital, like, right now. Like, that skyline is perfect. It's, like, you know, it's, me it's meant for uh, healing, uh, healing physically and mentally. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm back here. Okay, that's fine. Oh! Let's get the living shit out of me! God, I mean, I thought he, like, got into something. I was like, fucking hell, I gotta do this shit now. Okay, I was just laying down. Yeah, his, his uh, temporarily favorite spot. Because he really likes to lay on that, um, on that, um, what's it called? Your suitcase? Suitcase, yes. Alright, so we got Carmack, mm -hmm. hair, hair Trigger, and Panda? Panda Patrol. Is it Panda Patrol? Yeah, it is Panda Patrol. Okay. Weird. It'd be really funny to have a fourth one. That was a uh, that looked that's supposed to be a romantic comedy. It has the white and red text, like so. It's really obvious what era there this was advertised in. What era was that? Uh, eighties through the early two thousands. They really do that. Like a lot of um, romantic comedies or comedy movies. Um, when it comes to posters, um. They use the white and red text, and they use the white, uh, empty, bl uh, empty white background, with, with just the, uh, and it just has just the actors. I never actually noticed that. I can't read that last one unless it's not the uh, BIP Film Festival. That's a film festival. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, BP that's Film Festival. That's that's BR. That's bar. Oh, bar. <laughs> B E B R. The man killed. Nice. All so right. this was a video store. No, I think it was a bookstore actually. Maybe it's a uh, Hastings, basically. Maybe, but this is a two-story one. Jesus Christ. There, is, there is some two-story Hastings, but they're in big I've cities. I've never heard. I've never seen a two-story Hastings before. Like they. That, that sounds like something that. That. 
They have and, some, I, and I can see why they're actually going out of business now. Okay. Well, like bookstores do have two story. But, like, the thing, but the thing is, Hastings wasn't just a bookstore though. It was a bookstore. It was a hobby. It was originally started as a hobby place, then it became a bookstore, plus a hobby place and electronics, electronics, and and they they try they they spread themselves out way thin with the stuff they were trying to do, and they fucked themselves. And then now it's now it's uh, an entertain mart. <laughs> I think the one we have is an entertainment bar. Everything yeah, else is like, I think they all just like sh- actually shut down. Yeah, Air Tamar is basically just Hastings, the but less that. good. The ones I, mean, they, I just, I just think they just need a little time to actually get their inventory out. Because I haven't been there, in, I haven't been there in a minute. I feel like I should go at least to Air Tamar. It still same, serves the same. Oh, you punk bastards! It still serves the same function as Hastings. I just want to say, I, I hope they actually have a lot of their stuff, like, situated. There we go. But if, like, Air, uh, Air Tamar, like, uh, goes out of business, I'm going to love go going to the the to the going out of business sale. If they have one. If they, if they just shut down, I would not be surprised. Like, I don't want them to be shut down, because... Like, it fulfills my need for Hastings, like, if I ever need to go there. I think you have you haven't been in a while, like I have. So, yeah. So does it truly feel a need if you don't actually go? I always wanted to be there. <laughs> like, like, because Hastings is a place you go if, like, uh, you have enough money to extra little extra money and you want to buy some anime or manga or comic books. But you don't want to go. To, um, but you don't want to go to the comic book shop, and also you ha- you want the option of buying anime. I think it was, if, to me, it was like a cheap, cheaper Walmart that had less things in it. Yeah, because everything because most of their stuff was kind of expensive. But if you if you found one that was like I like cheap, then you then you were pretty lucky at that point. Yeah, because like they do have a lot of good deals every week, and they have uh, good prices on books. Uh, uh, but it does get expensive. I'm trying to figure out where the fuck to go. I totally forgot how, where I'm supposed to go right now. Me neither. What's up? What is up? This is the garage. Sorry, <laughs> So, did you know there's another royal wedding? I heard. What do you think? I honestly don't care. Because they're they're, like, they're just gonna just have all their shit aired out until until they just say, hey, let's just not do shit anymore. I'm just like, okay, that's fine. What the fuck was that? No! Okay. Legit confused, like where the fuck am I supposed to go? I wonder if like the Firefly group, uh, F- Firefly group. I wonder if they were influenced by the Firefly TV show. Never seen it. I have not seen it either. I've only seen a clip. I ain't seen that. I only seen a clip because I had to. Uh, we watched it in a classroom. I think that was the context I watched it in. So I think that's everything I could find here. So now I can actually like actually figure out the fuck to go. Uh, I guess I'll go through here. Let's see. Nope. 